I'd like to do a really exciting video because it's a sneak peek of the new Estee Lauder yet to be launched collection. I went to an event and it's got the same model as the Bronze Goddess collection and once again it's a very modern look which I think does describe the collection quite neatly. It's um, not blended out so the eyes are very modern looking, they're not sort of too articulated. They're very um, stark, almost mask-like. And this one is using the Blue Dahlia. The collection doesn't have any blusher in it, but it's got loads and loads of lip glosses and eyeshadows. It's got um, 24, I believe. I'm going to be putting it all in my blog, so all the information about launch dates and how many there are and names and all of that. I'm going to put all the real detail in my blog so I'm going to be linking that below. Please do check it out. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, the eyes are quite stark, the face is quite pale, the lips are quite muted, understated and juicy looking. So I've actually got the lip gloss on as well. What it does is very naturally make your own lip colour look juicy and kind of understated, leaving all the drama for the eyes. So I think that really does translate the collection. So as I was saying, they've got the um, Blue Dahlia Quint, and I got the other one which is called Surreal Violet. And Surreal Violet has a nail polish called Surreal Violet, which I'm wearing right now. I love it because it combines the trends of Chanel Particulier, but it adds in this very pretty purpley sheen, so it's like a more girly version. It's really amazing because it looks purple and then it looks grey and then it looks almost brownish. So I love that, highly recommend it. In fact, I'll show that to you now. It comes in the standard nail polish, estate order nail polish um, packaging. And I've used their nail polish before, it's really reliably good and this one is no exception. Again, I'll put all the details in my blog post but just to let you know, this only needs two coats and even with one coat it has a very lovely sort of almost peachy tone to it and then when you layer it up the peachiness just takes a back seat but it's still there. But anyway, I'll try and convey that within my blog post but maybe you can just catch glints of peach really beautiful and nothing else like this when you wear it you can tell this is an expensive polish it's just not dupable a lot of thought has gone into that really good and um i don't know if i mentioned this is in um, collaboration with a really famous makeup artist probably definitely one of the most famous i'd say him and pat mcgrath are definitely the ones that i know of and the ones that I would think, you know, top makeup artist, his name's Tom Pisher and loads of really, really lovely looks are always created by him, so look out for that name because he's a very influential makeup artist. Anyway, so this is Surreal Violet, the Quint. Packaging is like that, very Estee Lauder-ish but sort of modern, modern take on it. So um, it's square but with rounded edges a mirrored back and sort of transparent sides. It looks like this. So as a purple lover I had to have this one. I thought I'd want the blue one but actually when I swatched this I just knew I had to have it. So again I'm going to try and get swatches and everything else on my blog. This shade which is quite similar to the nail polish in that it's a greyish purple. Then there's this one which is really similar to MAC Violet pigment. This pinky purple which is really similar to MAC Fuchsia pigment. This amazing darkened blackberry colour and this which is a silvered white. So these are all really pigmented. That's the amazing grey, greyish purple. It's like MAC Shale, quite similar but a billion times better. This is the one which is like MAC Violet pigment. So very lovely, almost bluish purple. This one is the one which is like Mac Fuchsia pigment, sort of pinky purple. 
This one is the amazing blackberry colour. It's really pigmented and really instantly smokes up a purple eye wonderfully. And then there's this white, really silvery white, instant, sophisticated, very autumnal actually, smoky purple eye. So even though these all come out in July, again I'll put the dates in my blog, it's actually geared towards a wintry autumnal look. Um, the lip gloss, I've mentioned it before, wearing it now, really like it. It's, um, it's not the most amazing gloss in the world, but I think it's really lovely. It's a very Estee Lauder colour, even the name Simply Pink, it makes you think of Gwyneth Paltrow and Liz Hurley, it's that very classic. English rose, juicy lip, very natural, sort of fruity smell to it. So it looks like that. It's not too sticky. I did swatch some of the other glosses in this collection. There's, I think, 24 glosses, and these are actually out at the moment. I think you can already find them on counter. And the ones which have lots of glitter in them are a lot stickier, but obviously a lot shinier and probably a bit more dramatic. We got some eyeshadow singles and these have the same kind of compact, obviously smaller, very elegant. My favourite Estee Lauder compact for singles has to be the Ice Cube one, but this is obviously very nice and very elegant and upmarket. This one is possibly my very favourite one. This is called Enchanted Meadow and this is like a girl eyeshadow which I love which got discontinued pale pistachio minty green and again wonderful wonderful texture I wore twilight rose which is kind of like my skin colour a bit more pinky peach with enchanted meadow and it looked just like a fairy wing twilight rose over my lid and then that pale pistachio green enchanted meadow in the crease and it honestly was so pretty they're so wonderfully smooth pigmented can't rave about them enough and this one is i believe replicated within the Udalia quint and this one is called midnight star and using the mac 219 and going over my liner with this incredible incredible payoff it's got lots and lots of silvery sparkle within it so it takes on almost a purpley tinge as well. So all in all this is quite a mammoth collection. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Colour by Tom Pusher. I hope I'm saying the name right. I think it is. Anyway it's absolutely really 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 good and I think everyone would love it. Just my expectations were high because I'm already a huge Estee Lauder fan but Estee Lauder just keep raising the bar. Eyelick nails can often be very mortuary hands, but because this has the peach undertone, it saves it. So anyway, if you only pick one thing, I'd say definitely get the nail polish, but I don't think you can pass up the eyeshadows. Well, I just recommend all of it, really. The event itself, I should mention, I was really privileged to get to be at the event, and I met Pixie Woo again, and they're so nice. They're just, anyone else in their position would be really haughty and just well, certainly wouldn't be talking to the likes of me, but Pixie Wee were just so friendly and they're so down to earth and they love the collection so I'm looking forward to seeing what looks they come up with and um, everyone was really swatching and it was a really good event and thank you so much to Estee Lauder for all these wonderful goodies. Thanks a lot for watching and talk to you all soon. Bye.